Don't block you. Oh, don't. That's what I don't want to do. Look, I'm dropping the artisite. Like the 85. Buick Audio Owner's Guide, Regal. You got the owner's name, your owner's name. And that's all. We got the good. because I plan on driving it to work tomorrow and I got to get some bleach clean because the leather tires are turning beige on us from the compound from the rubber compound but that I forgot that spray bleach that you use for white walls works perfect with a uh, with a Brillo pad um, steel wool pad works perfect I've been using it for years and um, but yeah we're gonna go ahead and get this car we're probably gonna take it to cars and coffee and there's another car show going on in Stony Creek, Virginia, that we might go to. Well, I know we probably will go to. Uh, and, you know, we just go get this car ready. Y'all haven't seen it on the channel. This is uh, for everybody new to the channel. This is old Zelda. Uh, the reason we call it Zelda, because I feel like it reminds me of, an, of the Zelda Nintendo game. So that's why. You know, we got that game, right? That gold cartridge, right? Oh, you know? Yeah. All right, all right. So let me get on, get to work, get get some of this stuff done. If I can drive it to work in the morning, and uh, put air in the tires. Uh, probably gonna have to fuel it up, put some uh, fuel in it in the morning, and you know, give it some road, man. We got exercise the cars, man. The worst thing yeah. you could do is let them sit. Yeah. You know, let them sit for long periods of time. So we're gonna go ahead and get it right. I'm gonna go ahead and hand peanut the camera, and he's gonna be recording and talking to y'all. All right, team running. We just finished airing up the tires because they was a little low from, from sitting. Yeah. Now what we about to do is I need to check the engine oil, the engine oil and the transmission fluid level on it. We actually need to change the transmission fluid on this car. We we'll probably do it next month. It's not overdue, but we need... I thought I had the snout for this. Maybe I put it on a different car, didn't I? Yeah, you probably We're going to have to look for another one. It's a snout. It's a snorkel that goes here over this air filter housing. We're going to have to find another one. Somewhere. We can find, probably find it on eBay, team, running. But this is a hot air car. Y'all see, it's a, this is an 85. It's a whole different, whole different car than the 86, 87. I, uh... 
once upon a time I wanted to do the 86 87 swap on it because as y'all know we got a rebuilt uh, engine in the uh, honeycomb hideout but I feel like this is a uh, history and I don't want to mess with history so I just want to keep it like this that's all we do is cruise in it to car shows and stuff like that so I don't even want to you know you know I just want to keep it original I guess is what I'm saying oh LM9 peanut that's the code for it LM9 3.8 uh, V6 turbocharged straight to the intake now I'm going to be up front with y'all and transparent team run it this car does need new injectors though it really does Yo, uh, did that nut come off yeah I'm going to have to put a nut on that right there see it team run? I don't know if y'all can see where my finger is this heat shield is missing the nut on it I'm going to have to do something about that it's probably a little 10 millimeter 8 millimeter nut uh the car runs good. It's just a slug when it's hot outside. But in the winter months, yeah. she run good, right? Yeah. She run really, really good because of that nice, you know, cooler air. And we do have a drop-in can in it right there. Um, when I purchased the car, I had to purchase all this. All this was missing. All this right here. I mean, the tube, everything. It had a cold air intake on there. Y'all could probably still see where the cold air filter was, what was touching. The, the 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 hood pad and of course yeah this car needs a new hood pad but they hard to find man i should have jumped on them years ago then these hood pads extremely hard to find i'm not even gonna lie extremely hard to find especially for a hot air one too because that's a whole different hood pad because you got that little heat thing right here the little heat shield part right there but yeah we're gonna go ahead and but this car been good to us yeah like I said, it needs new injectors. One day we're gonna put new injectors in it. It's just a pain in the tail to put new injectors in it because the fuel rail is running right underneath the turbo right there. Uh, I think that, I don't know, I don't think it's that. Let's see, let's see team running. Hold on, let me take a look. Cause you will have to maneuver yourself. Cause the fuel rail is right here. No, that's the coolant rail, my bad. The fuel rail, I just saw it. Never mind, it is gonna be a pain because it's underneath here. The fuel rail is, is right underneath here. I can feel it curve right there. Then, yeah, it's gonna be a pain with a return line right there. So, yeah, it's gonna be a pain. Uh, what else? Of course, the EGR valve ain't original. This ain't original. I still got the original stuff. The EGR valve went bad on us, so we had to replace it. And this vacuum block was plastic and it was brittle, y'all. So it was really, really brittle. Uh, what else, what else? That's pretty much it. Talk about this car. Cruise in it. Oh, and we're missing another bolt right here, I think. I might have to fix that, I might have to fix that. Yeah, screw or something, go right down the heat shield. Probably what we, we be here. It ain't touching the turbo though. So that's a good thing. Hmm. Alright. The AC do not work in this car. Uh never try to really fix it. I might try to end up doing that. Just for general purpose. But we did do the F-body radiator mod on it. That's a that's from a Camaro. Third gen Camaro, this radiator. See how it's plastic? We did do that. We did do that. It still got the fan clutch and all that on it. You know. But yeah, it's been good to us, y'all. We just tried to keep up with it. Keep it running good. Keep it looking good, as y'all can see, right? Peanut cleaned it up, right? I'm going to use your picture as the thumbnail. You cleaning the wheels. I always love a hood on them. You don't see those no more on cars, really. And I was surprised this car still had its hood on it, but there you go. Right there. That would make a good thumbnail too, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but uh Yeah. Oh yeah, we got another missing screw. Look at this team running. I'm gonna have to order these. One is missing right here. I'm gonna have to order that screw. Or I might have an extra one in my toolbox. I have to check before I order. Uh 
What else? What else is going on, Pino, with this? Oh, let's show them this, though. I had found this stuff on eBay years ago. Got lucky. Hold on. Let me show them. Got lucky. Uh oh don't, That's what I don't want to lose. Look, I'm dropping the artifact. 1985. Buick Audio Owner's Guide. Regal. We got the owner's manual, owner's manual. And that's a, we got the dealership brochures in here too. We usually set this stuff out as props at car shows. See, 1985 Buick Buyer's Guide. And this one here is, that's just another uh, pr promotional manuals from uh, the dealership that I picked up off eBay for really cheap years, years ago. Just put them back. That's the inside of the car. I'll let y'all see it. It needs to be vacuumed out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Put that right there. And I can't believe I dropped this, y'all. Look at that. I still got the look. From 1985. Or 84. The cassette tape. That tells y'all about the car. Yeah. So we got that. Yeah. I just got seat covers on it. Just to, for me, y'all can see the seats. Ain't bad looking. I just don't want to mess them up like they already are. Just the inside of it. Power 6 logo in the house. Got the Regal on the dash plaque. This is it, y'all. This is it. We're going to cruise it tomorrow. All right, we're going to go ahead and close it out, y'all. Yeah. You know, it's been a while. We just want to bring a video to y'all. We're going to do another one. We're going to get haircuts first yeah. on our next video. We're going to be, because Peanut goes back to school this Monday, so... We're going to get us some haircuts, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, he's going to the third grade, right? Yeah. Big third grader in the house right there. Give him a clap. Give him a hand. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm going to drive old Zelda. Had to go ahead and pull her out. Haven't touched her all summer. And it's time to touch her, right? Yeah. It's time to drive her a little bit. Put a little bit of miles on her. Do a little bit of maintenance on her. And we'll bring you on that journey. I know we got to do a train. I'm gonna do a transmission uh, fluid change on it for sure, and I think we got enough AMS or transmission fluid in there for it. But hey, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification, Hit that notification bell. We appreciate all the support. Thank you, Team Run It, for supporting us. We really appreciate it. That's Peanut. I'm James. This is Peanut Automotive Ventures. We out. Peace. Peace.